guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna be working on my truck. We're gonna be replacing the fuel filter and this will apply to all 97 to 98 and a half 12 valve Cummins. Unless the fuel filter was changed out with a different version. Uh, sometimes they'll go to the uh, first years of the second gen um, because that was just a screw on fuel filter. Whereas the 97 to 98 and a half went to a cartridge that you can just put in. So uh, we'll get started on that. So first thing, we we're gonna wanna unplug the uh, fuel sensor right here, water fuel sensor. Just plug, unplug that right there. And then you could just unplug this also, just to get that out of your way. And then we're gonna, if you wanna look down in here, and there's this yellow knob right here. And make sure to have a catch can down there, but you're gonna flip it. Make sure to flip it all the way. And then fuel's gonna start draining out. And use that instead. All right guys, we got the fuel coming through that little uh, hose up there. Coming out good. That's what you guys should be seeing uh, once you open that yellow valve. All right, and you're gonna wanna make sure to flip it back so that you, when you put it all back together, not dripping fuel everywhere. All right, and then we're gonna have to get the right size <clears throat> uh, socket to go over this, and we're gonna have to loosen this bolt up right here so that we can take it off. All right guys, so the size to take off this little bolt right here is a 9 16 or if you wanna to go to the equivalent, it's a 14 millimeter, which is what we are using right now, which is, I find a little bit tighter and a little bit easier to take it off. So we're just gonna loosen that up right there. And then get it nice and loose. And you're gonna wanna have a hand underneath as you loosen it up so that it doesn't just fall down. All right, and just unscrew it and it'll just pop on down here. And this is the first time changing out this filter. Um, so we'll see how bad it is. Hopefully it's not too, too bad. But uh, we're gonna have to snake it out uh, around here. Looks like the best way is gonna be right, right in here. And take it out. Just like that. Perfect. Just like that. And there's the canister. So I'll explain what these are right here. So this is the uh, overflow right there. That uh, That's where the fuel will come out when you're taking that out. And then here's the fuel water sensor right here that we unplugged. And uh, inside here, moment of truth. Let's see how bad it is. Oh, that is nasty. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's really bad. So it is good that we are we are replacing that because who knows when the last time was that it was done. And uh, after you take that out, you're gonna notice there is a little bit of fuel left over inside there. We're just gonna dump that out. Into so the just catch dump can. it back into your uh, gas tank. Yeah, it's great, you know, because there's no black stuff or anything in there. That'll screw up your gas. Or screw up everything. All right, just dump that in. And put that back there because there's still gonna be a little bit of fuel that's gonna be leaking. And on to the actual filter change. All right guys, so the inside of this is gonna be dirty too. Make sure to clean this out before putting the new filter in. And then you can give it a little clean around the edge just to make it look a little bit better because it's gonna be covered in uh, crap. But uh, we'll get, get on to the next procedure. All right, so the next step here, you're gonna wanna get up in underneath here. You can get a pick or a small, 
flat tip screwdriver, get up underneath there, make sure not to hurt the mating surface at all. And then just ride that back out and take it off. And then uh, the old one goes away and on with the new one. Which is grab that. Is right here. Get a little bit of clean diesel fuel, which you don't, you don't got have any. any. And just, it's right in here. Yeah, a little bit yeah, right in clean. there. It's clean. So you just want to kind of rub it on the gasket. B better seating capabilities that way. And then just ride it up into the groove right there. Make sure not to hurt that. Uh, mating surface right there when you're trying to pick it out or else uh, it could affect seating capabilities there and sealing capabilities all right next on to this we're going to be putting a uh, new gasket right here and uh, then go on to the bigger one which get a little bit more fuel put that around there that's clean right there so then Get a little bit more and then put it on the outside. Right there. Clean up the top. And then we're just going to be sliding this back in. And then it'll just fit right into place right there. Easy peasy. And now on to putting it back in. All right, so with this, you don't want a ton of crap getting in it because we're gonna have to snake it back in there. So you can put a little towel over it and we're gonna start the snaking process. Hopefully it all goes well. As of right now, it doesn't wanna go anywhere, so. <laughs> okay. Put that right there. Gonna have to the hose down there. Perfect. Put your arm down underneath here so you can grab that and put it in through there. This is a fun little process, but You'll get used to it after your first time doing it. Okay. There we go. It's starting to work its way in. All right, perfect. And now it's in place. We can uh, take the towel off. Let's put that to the side. And now this is the important part right here. So I'm going to want to Put it back up into place but you're going to want to make sure that it is seated right so what you're going to have to do is uh work with me there we go so you're going to want to the yellow knob over here, you're gonna want it to stay over here and inside this uh, little gap right here. There's a gap in the metal that you can feel right here. You're gonna wanna make sure as you're tightening it up, that up that it's in place. And I'm gonna start hand tightening it. Sorry about the lack of view there. Gonna, so there it is right there in place in that gap and get it hand tight and you're really gonna you're gonna want to see it uh, about up to there and you're gonna want to make sure it's nice and uh, hand tight there and that it's actually catching threads now we're gonna tighten it down all right and when sealing this up it is uh, just sealing on the gasket there so uh, the specs is 10 foot pounds you can use what i've used in a previous video 
in our uh, installing the um, tow mirrors. You can use that pinky trick to uh, get it to the place where it's right at 10 foot pounds. And as much as your pinky can pull is about 10 foot pounds. And that's good to go. All right, on to the priming. Next, we're gonna be working on priming the system here. We're gonna to have to loosen this top nut. This is on top of the fuel filter housing. Uh, it's a little 10 millimeter, pretty easy to get to and loosen up. And then we're gonna be pressing this primer bulb down here, which is just a manual lift pump, which, let's see if you can see it down there. You can't really see it, but it's that. Here, can you put some more light down here? This right here. This is the primer bulb. You have to press this about 50 to 100 times or until there's fuel that is coming through the top of the bolt. And that's when you know the system is primed. We'll get onto priming the actual system now. All right, just loosen that up until you start seeing bubbles, which we saw right there. You can see that there's already air coming out of the system. Then we're gonna be pressing the bulb down here. All right guys, we pumped it about 150 times, just for a good measure there. Now we're gonna be closing this up. Should be full fuel in the fuel filter housing. And this thing is only another 10 foot pounds. You know, just tighten that up. It doesn't take much. All right, now you can wipe stuff down, make sure everything's tidied up before we go to start it. Um, everything's been plugged in, double check. And the uh, knob is still over on the right side so that uh, it will not allow any fuel to come out. All right, we're gonna be going to start it now. RPM at about 80 or about 800 RPM. It's about a little over idling speed until she levels out, and then uh, let off on the fuel, and she's good to go. All right, guys, and that's all there is to it to replacing your fuel filter out of your 97 to 98 and a half 12 valve Dodge Cummins. Like, subscribe, and see you next time. I'm